found. Yay. Okay. Um, Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am putting out a tweet really quickly just to let everybody know that we're live. Can I, can I say yes. something? Do you know that Twitter, Twitch actually notifies all your followers? Not all the time. What? It doesn't always work. Okay. Yeah. It always notifies me. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't always work, trust me. Twitch is super twitchy. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. All right. So, I'll, Hello, uh, everyone. Hi, I'll Hannah. Say hi. Wait, move over. Okay. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hi, hi, everybody. Or whoever's here. Most everybody. <laughs> so today we have our lasagna up on the screen. Wait, right there. Look, lasagna. And then over there <laughs> are the ingredients. Woo! <laughs> Let us know what you think. So um, we thought that it would be nice for you to see the ingredients as we're cooking them. And... Uh, Let's see what they say. Hi, Mama Chef and Chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cause, all right. We so we're on a pretty big delay, I think. I I think our mouths are not moving with our <laughs> video. Let us know if that's off. I don't know what we can do about it. Um, I've been trying to read up on what we can do about it, and it apparently. Um, part of the problem is that we're using USB cameras oh. and USB has a built-in lag time of like one and a half seconds right off the bat. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. So there's other things you have to do to get fancier stuff and all that, but we're not doing that now. Yeah. <laughs> I've already spent enough money on some things, so. I'm glad you like it, Hannah. Oh, good. All right. Thank you. All right, cool, cool. Well, we're working on having a frame and all that kind of stuff, too. Yeah. So we have our friend Amy working on artistry for us. And uh, I was Yay. trying yeah, <laughs> I was trying to do a graphics, I should say. She is an artist and um, has a degree in everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there you go. All right. So let, let's talk about what we got here, Jess. All Jeff? right. Well, um, I actually have to. I already started by cooking the noodles uh, partially in the pre-cooking the noodles in the boiling water. Yeah. So she she's been cooking the lasagna noodles so that they'll be ready to go. And here we have some ground beef. Ground beef. We're going to use two. Are we making two lasagna still? have to. We were going to make two lasagnas so that we had one pre-cooked so that we could show you what it looks like when it's done, but it only takes 30 minutes to bake, so hopefully we'll be able to show you. So we're going to make, we're going to use one pound of this meat. There's about four pounds here. We're going to use one onion or part of an onion or something like that. You can see the ingredients better than me. I can't read that. Oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My ingredients. Thanks for the host. I think Chef Captain, Captain? Chef. Chef Captain. Hey, Derby Muffins, how you doing? Derby Muffins. I just That's love that awesome. name. Awesome. <laughs> oh, we just got a follow too. Thank you. I, we can't read our follows and stuff. Let me move oh, him. No. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. trying a new layout today. And we're hoping that that it works out. So we're there's uh, gonna be some kinks to work out. Yeah, it's okay. But that's okay. We'll get it. I moved it. Oh, thanks for the follow. Fried muffins is now hosting. Our host. Now why do we have? Oh, that was a host alert. Wait, what? What? We have a host alert. Oh, that's up there. Okay. All right, moving things around, moving things around. Okay, and then we have browser source. I sort of stuck it in the middle. I'll put it over here. All right. 
And then stream tip. I don't even see where that is. What's a stream tip again? Oh, that's that's where uh, people tip our stream so we can buy more food and. Oh, uh, I don't even know where stream. that is. If you click on it, it should be outlined in red. It's not. There's that one. Maybe it's buried in. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Okay. All right, All we right. got it now. At least on this on this view. We'll hey, snowman slushy. Snowman slushy. <laughs> <laughs> All the people with the awesome names. Woo! They always make us so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Those are happy, happy names. We should do our happy dance. What's our happy dance? Do we have a happy dance? We don't have one yet. <sighs> we need to work out our dance moves. Hey. We're going to do that next week. I hear, I hear a corgi. What? A corgi. Oh. What? Doesn't he... Don't you have a new front of the house helper? I do. Yeah. What's my thought? Hold on. Wait. Oh, look. Here's somebody in a suit. Look at that. Meet my new maitre d, guys. <laughs> you're in the you're in the ingredients. There. All right. <laughs> Here, yeah, move over there. All right. <laughs> look. He's got a bow tie. <laughs> And little sleeves, and he actually hasn't tried to take it off. Oh, and tails, coattails, coattails. Coat yeah. What do you think? Think he'd make a good waiter? I think he makes oh, the I best he'd waiter. Probably make a better host. Hmm. Major D is more of a, a host and uh, in charge of all the waiters and waitresses. Oh, okay. Well, that's what he is then. Yeah, because you're Major D. He doesn't have hands. Get your board. Get your board. <laughs> you're Major D. Get your board. All right. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Maitre D. Yay! Okay, woof! Snowman Slushy says woof. <laughs> All right. All right, did I give my hands a wash because I touched Dovey? Okay. Washing. Washing hands. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Mano, mano. Menomena. 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 All right. Dress him like Santa. Well, we chose this outfit. It costs money to get these darn outfits. Yeah. And we don't want to spend another twenty dollars right now. <laughs> we can't. We uh we we can't quite afford that. <laughs> No. But if we Not were to right get now. some uh, donations, we could put it towards uh, a corgi outfit. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, there we go. So, I like our ingredients up there. Yeah. I think it makes it nice, and um, it's not really in the way. You yeah. Know? Only when we stand. No. Only if we stood over here. <laughs> yep. Which mm -hmm. which will help indicate mm -hmm. that we need to actually change switch the scene probably to the to the stove. stove. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's otherwise go. Otherwise, I'm going to be talking in front of these words. No one's going to see anything. No. Help! I'm trapped behind words. Ah! Let me out. <laughs> okay. All right. So to make one big lasagna, mm -hmm. how do we? What do we need? We need a lasagna pan. A lasagna pan. Yeah, which happens yeah. to be in my car. Uh, I will go get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm capable. All right. <laughs> I'll hang out here and talk about the rest of the ingredients. Well, you're going to start. Oh, and, and start. Okay. Yeah. All right. You got this? I got this. All right. I got it. I'll go get the pan. <laughs> I don't need to yell. I need to quit yelling. It's very, very bad. Yeah. We have a better audio setup now, so we don't need to yell. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's right. I hope we don't have that noise oh, still. Oh, yeah. I forgot to, um, I was going to change to that mic if we still have that. So, what was it? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Maitre D. Oh, Mario. Maitre D, Mario. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's freaking adorable. <laughs> <laughs> All the clickety-clack-clacks. 
Even Ziggy would like to wear something, I think. I think I'll buy Ziggy something. Maybe I'll buy Ziggy a Santa outfit from Jessica. Yeah? Since you bought the maitre d' outfit. You know? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Are you making sure that they can see? Yeah. Okay. No, Mario. That means not real. Not real. All right. Sorry, he's just so cute. I just can't keep my hands off of him. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, dear. <laughs> you stay there, Mario. You stay. Mario. All right. So, um, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. Oh, thanks for the follow. New Geff Films. <laughs> Was that New Geff Films? Sorry if I butchered your name. Feel free to correct me in chat. <laughs> if you want. You don't have to. Lurking's cool, too. <laughs> Yes, watch as I butcher names. Right now I'm cutting up an onion for the um, for the lasagna as well as for the bechamel sauce. Well, first really I should talk about what the layers are in a lasagna. That would make sense. So we got our lasagna noodles right Back. here. Back. I was going to make them from scratch, but I ended up using all of the noodles from yesterday. All the dough. The dough. Turning them into this. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, I meant, okay. Is that going to be hot there? Uh, it's going to be. I'm going to put the saute to stuff for them. You might show them what a lasagna pan looks like. That's actually a real lasagna pan. That's what it was called when I bought it. Now, if I was in the industrial kitchen, I would probably use a two inch hotel pan. But this right here is called a lasagna pan. At the grocery store. At the grocery store, anyway. <laughs> um, what by what is it? I think it's 13.5 by 9.5. I think it's bigger than that. Maybe even bigger. Mm. It's okay. Don't worry about it right now. Oh, okay. Oh, here. This is a better, better one. Better one. All right. Yeah, because lasagna pans, you want them to be pretty big and not too deep. Okay, so it's 13, yeah, on the inside it's 13 and a half by 10 and a half. And just so everybody knows this, um, we don't normally keep our pans in our car. <laughs> <laughs> this was just in the car because it was at my other daughter's house. That's all. Hello, Lord Boo. Oh, Lord Boo! How you doing? We're making lasagna. Or lasagna. So, we have our lasagna noodles, and then one of the layers is going to be um, ground beef. The recipe that I have uh, on, on there, there, <laughs> is, um, requires eight ounce half uh, pork stuff, pork, ground pork, Italian sausage or ground pork. And I didn't really feel like doing that since having that Italian sausage yesterday inside the tortellinis and stuff. So we're just gonna do full one pound of ground beef. And we're going to make that into the tomato sauce layer. And then you top, so, okay, okay, let me go back. You got a little bit of tomato sauce on the bottom, layer noodles, um, like the meat tomato sauce on top of those noodles, and then Parmesan cheese or mozzarella. And then another noodle, and then a uh, bechamel. Or wait, no, you would want to put the ricotta down first because that's hardest to uh, spread. So you put the ricotta and then the bechamel, and then 
another layer of noodles, and so on and so forth until you run out of noodles. <laughs> Hey Hannah, could you put up the uh, uh, recipe, exclam recipe, please? Thank you. Look, we should try it right then. <laughs> Do you want to bring that into the stream? Sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my, my major D is super busy right now. <laughs> He's just running everywhere. Yeah. He was acting so dejected earlier when I first put the outfit on him. But now he doesn't care. He loves it. Oh, we got an advent ca calendar. <laughs> because it was half price at Starbucks. It was still ridiculously expensive. Yeah, I, I wonder what's inside. I don't know. I will open it. You keep going. Okay. <laughs> I'll find the first one. Oh, I need a knife. Okay. Me. So, um, we cooked the lasagnas and then. And then? We're gonna make the meat sauce with the onion and garlic and the one pound of ground beef. And we're going to drain the ground beef. Add the tomatoes and the tomato sauce and kind of just reduce it for a while. So since this is going to be for not a stew and we're not going to be reducing it for too long, we, we kind of want it to our um, onion. Oh, can you go to the the big oh, close up? Here? Yeah. Sorry. All right. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let me move that. Over now. I guess okay. that works. I think so. Yeah. We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna want our. Uh, our cut slices on our onion to be relatively small, about a quarter inch, so a small dice by a quarter inch. And then we're going to probably chop them up a bit more after that. <clears throat> so let's see, I hope these aren't all taped. I'll be so mad. It'll be so annoying. Well, that doesn't make any sense if they are. I know. You just twist them open? Yeah. Oh. oh, look. It's a cute candy. Where am I? There. It's a cute candy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that was for our first day. We have to catch up, you know. Oh, yes. We're Indeed. on the <laughs> uh, third day? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're on the third is day. Today is the third of December. Pretty sure. So this <laughs> candy is a white chocolate Snowflake with thing. Snowflakey thingy with like peppermint thingy. Probably peppermint. I'll eat half and you can have the other half. How's that? That works. Oh, very not. That was very hard. hard, yeah. Well, it was in the the car, which is kind of like a refrigerator out there. We are so going to let it sit for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys. Is a rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you wanted to buy an advent calendar at Starbucks, they're now like $24. Still too much money, but I just had to do it. And they're refillable. Not that I'll ever refill them. And you can hang them all on the tree. I don't have a tree yet. Because I can't figure out Thanks where to Thanks for the follow, Cobaru. Oh, thank you. Welcome to our kitchen. Here's number two. And... They don't put them in order, you know. That's weird. I don't know. To be to be tricky. cool. I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna. I think this is like how many pounds is this? Four pounds. Four pounds. I already, so we'll I already take, explained it. Oh. We're gonna take one pound. Okay. <laughs> so okay. one fourth of that is what we're using. Oh, okay. You were busy. Are we close in enough with this one? I 
think so. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's pretty close. So we got our onion off to the side now. Right now. Hello, little maitre d. I wish we could have a maitre d camera. I know, right? But he would not stand still. And that would probably just bring our stand to a screeching halt. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, oh, he's so cute. No, that's not what I mean. Oh. Having all those cameras, I don't know. Oh. It's just like every time we add something, things don't work anymore. <laughs> so. It's like it's like OBS is like, ah, I can't handle it. Yeah. Yep. And we don't have a lot of choices on a Mac. Yeah, so really unfortunately. You know, you would think that a Mac, being a Mac, would be more, I don't know, open to this? I think more things were developed for Windows is the deal. Oh. Because I guess more people play games on Windows. That's what oh, it is. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Windows has is a better gaming system, uh, typically, than a Mac. For whatever reason, I think more games were written for it. Is probably it. That's probably it. So there you go. But yeah, Macs are supposed to be used for like media and stuff, and this is media. You well, more for developing media <laughs> is really it. It's they're very good for editing video and it makes pictures me so sad. and drawing, you know, <laughs> artist kind of stuff. Oh, guys, the onions are hitting me. <laughs> no, not again. Again. Chef. Again. You're always crying with the onions. I know. But, you know, I just wish more stuff was developed for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're crying. Yeah. 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 I thought so. And it would make things so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And my corgi's so cute. So here's the other two things we got. Look, they're all different. We got a square thing with a, a present. It's a chocolate thingy. And we got a chocolate snowflake. Cool. You want the chocolate snowflake? Sure. Here you go. Ow. No, no, no. Might be no. hard. It's not that hard. Mm. So we're just cutting up the, excuse me while I talk and <laughs> eat chocolate on well, camera. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't I can't help turn it. away chocolate. I know. There's milk chocolate. Look. Oh no, I was gonna say that's Ziggy. That's Corgi with a black jacket, and I thought it was Ziggy. <laughs> I was saying, look, Ziggy's in here. I'm sure she's sitting in my chair in the other room. Probably. She just sits there waiting. Now Mario is our personal floor, floor cleaner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And server. Um, poster. Host. Host server. <laughs> Major D. <laughs> All right. So I'm also going to cut up some uh, garlic for the bechamel sauce and just set that aside for later. Bip. Bip. Now they say you get a better flavor with uh Oh hey credits. Hello. Yes, today is indeed lasagna day. I know you don't like lasagna, but maybe you'll stick around for uh for a good time, sir. So happy Garlic time. bread. Garlic bread, yes. Plus this shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. I'm washing you some bowls. All right. Since I didn't do that earlier. Sweet. I'm a bad mama chef. <laughs> Actually, I was busy. Busy trying to figure out how to put text on our stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it but actually it wasn't that bad. Look, we got text on our screen. Ingredients. Ingredients. And a title. And a title. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trust me, guys, this will be looking a lot better probably in a couple weeks. Um, I, I managed to get an artist to sign on to 
to make a overlay and um, graphics and things like that and even a logo. That should be fun. All right. Oh, this is very hot now. Super hot. Oh, there it is. Now I'm going to use olive oil because we're going to have plenty of butter okay, in everything bowl. else. Um, okay, we got other people. Yeah. I'll just clean up after you a little here. There you go. All right. You want to go to the stove top? Oh, stove top. Going over there now. Oh, now you're gonna see the bechamel sauce recipe. <laughs> Just ignore that for a few minutes. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do that soon. Right now we're still making the lasagna middle part. So I just don't want to move it yet. <clears throat> so, so there you go. Are we gonna put the meat in there? Yeah. I'm okay. just. Caramelizing the onions first a bit. Alright. You just can't cross contamination. Well, I just used it for this and then I'm going to wash it. Well, you don't put it on the cutting board. <gasps> oh, right. You're we'll right. have to wash it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't usually do that. It happens to the best of us. Whatever. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to cut it in fourths because we're going to use about a fourth of this. And then I'll put the rest in packages. Okay, there you go. All right, we're awesome. Away. What else do you need? What do you need next? Wall look. Oh, New Age Films. Sorry what? for butchering your name earlier. <laughs> New Age Film. Yeah. Uh, they they followed. Or oh, nice. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, lasagna's pretty freaking awesome. Mario, stop it. So we really wanted to have music going in the background. I have these wonderful radio channels that we could play, but apparently if we do that, our um, Twitch uh, stream, when it's recorded, won't have sound. <laughs> we'll get muted. We'll get muted. So I don't know if that's the case, if we were putting it up to, uh, if we recorded it ourselves, it'd be all right. You know that, Jessica? Yeah. If we could just record it ourselves make our own music? No, record our own stream and not worry about Twitch. Oh. We've been meaning to do, we, we do that sometimes and it sort of worked and sort of didn't and we had some issues. But, oh. um, but then it worked, it usually worked fine. So I just added some salt and some pepper. But I'd like, I'd like to see my youngest daughter, your sister, Arielle, make us some music. We're hoping to talk her and her band into making us some theme music. Yeah. That would be really fun. And we could use any of their music anytime. Well, we gotta ask them. Well, of course. But they're gonna say yes. Never know. I know. They're gonna say yes. <laughs> Alright, sorry I can't read anything, guys. Hold on, let's see. Can I ask? Oh, okay. Oh, really? Well, yeah, we would we would make sure that we had our um, music really low. We wouldn't put it up too high. Yeah, I, I know some streamers just love loud music or they don't realize that their music is loud. Yeah. So we definitely ask you guys how well, loud would, it was. Yeah, we don't like it really loud when we're trying to talk either. So. I mean, if I'm by myself, sure. I like. Yeah. I love to listen to, to some funk, Motown it up. <laughs> really Motown? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just listen to rock and roll. <laughs> Loud. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, and Poppy that Christmas is, songs. Yeah, those are fun. Those are really fun. Mm. I had a Christmas party stream going yesterday on my Fire TV that I just got. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's awesome. I like my Fire TV. <laughs> the Marvellets, <laughs> Granite says. <laughs> the Marvellets. Awesome, New Age Films. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. There's a, a, couple of, a couple of other streamers that cook as well. Um, yeah, so we're not going to advertise them now. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. What, well, you can look. It doesn't stream very much. Okay, New Age Films, you can actually look at our Twitch feed and you can find all of our other videos. Um, some are better than others. <laughs> <laughs> but most of them, uh, all of them, are very informative and we have some different kinds of food that we have made for everybody and so everything from desserts to uh, leftover Thanksgiving uh, food and pumpkin um, granola pumpkin granola pumpkin pie apple pie <laughs> yeah and a lot of other food food food, food. yeah I did some other <laughs> dishes stroganoff. that aren't that are no longer on the twitch stream but they're on YouTube probably but I hope we hope <sighs> But um, those were the first couple of streams, and we didn't have audio or video Correct. on either one. Like, right. we had video, but it was glitchy, but you could hear us perfectly, and vice versa for the other one. Okay. All right. Are you almost done? Yeah. Now I, need, I think I need some wine. Wine? Oh, I need some wine. We always need wine. Oh, perfect. We got some Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet. Cabernet. <laughs> There's some wine in there, Chefie. Oh, yes. So how much wine are we going to put in there? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little I just love the smell of cooking wine. There's nothing quite like it. Okay, I need to get a can of diced tomatoes. What's up, Plum? How's it going? can of tomato sauce, and then we need some dried Italian seasoning and all this other stuff. Indeed. Where are you, Italian seasoning? Now, I am definitely a proponent for fresh herbs and things like that. But they're quite expensive, and I think really think you should only use uh, fresh herbs at home as a as a, a fresh kind of garnish or something like that, like parsley and thyme minced together. You can even uh, fry up some sage leaves on the stovetop and then place them on top of. Uh, for instance, some sort of uh, pan-fried chicken dish, seriously, or a sautéed chicken, and then it could be a really pretty leaf display on top. That's pretty cool. Oh, chef, where is my can opener? Is it over there? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna bring out the gadget can opener again. Woo! The gadget. <laughs> Woo! So the way this works is I know I'm in a little teeny screen, but you guys don't need to see this so much. So we're going to put this here and we're going to hope it works. I usually buy lids that have pull tabs. Because I hate this. Alright. We're going to reduce the heat down um, because we don't want to make cook the uh, beef until the point it's rubbery. Then we'll just have rubbery, chewy bits of beef and uh, meat sauce. Oh dear, it didn't let go like it's supposed to. <laughs> let go! Here, I'll take the sauce. You don't need all of it. You're supposed to use eight ounces. 
but you and since you okay. put wine in there, I'd, I'd use eight ounces or less. Okay, wine is not one of the ingredients in the recipe. It is not, but, but we put it in everything. Yeah, when we can. Well. I mean, not pumpkin pie. You <laughs> no. wouldn't put wine in pumpkin pie. Definitely not in pumpkin pie. Or, well, maybe apple pie. Sorry about the noise. It'll be done in a sec. Add more meat, Cranit says. Well, that's a lot of meat already, Cranit. Yeah. I think that's all we're doing. But thanks for the uh, advice, suggestion. <laughs> oh, look, that one came right off. Okay, you can put... Now, this one says... Oh, undrained. There you go. So you want all the juice from that can of um, tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. And that's an entire can of tomatoes, which is 14 and a half ounces. And see, she only used, oh, wait, she only used about a little more than half of this can. And this can was, I need glasses on. <laughs> oh, no. Now I have stuff in my glasses. Okay, this can was 15 ounces. So about half is about seven and a half ounces. Oh, I did that fast, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, cleaning my glasses, sorry. All right, we already added the salt and the pepper to this. So now all we're gonna add is some Tuscan style Italian seasoning. Woo! -hoo. Woo! -hoo. I don't know if that got on there, just yeah, but whatever. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> um, it has thyme, garlic, uh, mar marjoram, Onion, rosemary, oregano, basil, and savory and sage. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of different flavors all up in there. I wouldn't necessarily put sage in with rosemary. Now, did you already drain the noodles? Are they done? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just... I put a little bit of olive oil in between them so okay. we can actually lift them back Because it out. said to rinse them with cold water. Yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, okay. But yours are fine. Yeah. Okay. So we added uh, about two tablespoons of uh, Italian uh, seasonings. What does it say for the recipe? What? For what? For oh, the, Italian? One yeah. tablespoon. Okay. So we added a little bit, a little bit more. And then hello, can... Lou. Well, how do you say that? Lou, Lou. Hello, Lulu, Caddy. Zeno genus also. Hello, Zeno Did you see Klom was here as well? Yeah, I saw Klom. Okay. And, um, let's see. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Julia Child. Oh, Quinn Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Quinn Daddy. I am making lasagna. And you can see on our stream we have a title and we have the ingredients. Right now we have bechamel sauce. Be be bechamel. 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 Bechamel sauce. Bechamel. Bechamel. I'm Hello. American, okay? Hi, Bremis. Wow. Hi. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you have, that's the meat sauce, yep. and it's just sitting on the stove waiting for us to start doing our other stuff. Now we need to make one more thing, and that is our filling, and two our, things. well, two more things. We're going to make our bechamel sauce and our filling. Now, I don't see where they put the bechamel sauce in. Do they mix it with um, the filling? And um, for those that just arrived... Say hello to our maitre d, Mario the Corgi. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, so go ahead and make up the filling, will you? Grab a bowl, and you're going to put the egg, ricotta cheese. The egg is one egg. Here, I'll switch the camera. So yeah, he has a suit. Granites. Um, we, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We, we uh, gave him a promotion, and he's now the maitre d' of our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, uh, you're going to make the filling, right. and we're going to combine the egg, ricotta cheese, and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh, we didn't buy any more, did we? No. That's all right. We're using this. Parmesan cheese is really expensive. All of this stuff is really expensive, actually. <sighs> so... So now we don't need to use all of this ricotta cheese. We're just going to use <laughs> one 15 ounce carton, and this is a 32 ounce carton. So this is twice as much. We're going to use half. Where am I? Half of this container. 
for our ricotta cheese. A real half, chef. A real half. A real half? Not an over half. Not okay. over half. All right. All right. And then, because um, then we can use the other half to make something else. Um, and then, and they, they say you can use uh, cottage cheese too, but we do not like cottage cheese in any shape, way, or form. So, well, with fruit, maybe. Hello, Nade Nade Burrito. Oh, Nade Burrito. We've we've met Nade Burrito before. And um, Madiba Africa. Madiba Africa. Nice. Hello. Okay. It right. it smells pretty freaking good, guys. Madiba it, Africa. Are you actually in Africa? Is that therefore the name? I am curious. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. You can also follow me at Working Chef on Twitter. Oh, I'm sorry, at Working Chef 2. The first one was taken. <laughs> All right. I'm All right. not waiting. Hey. <laughs> this, I can what? do it. I know. Okay. <laughs> and we need to Make sure you follow Medi Mediva Africa. <laughs> Craig Woody, hey. Oh, Mediva Africa is in Georgia, but was in Africa, it sounds like. Cool. cool. You Got Posse is following. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. You Got Posse? Is that it? what it was? I I'm think, not sure. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> plaster. plaster. It is not plaster, granite. It looks like plaster. <laughs> it certainly does. It does. And maybe you could use it as plaster if you added flour to it, but... Oh, but it would get moldy. It would get moldy. <laughs> <laughs> we just need one egg, right? Do we need yes. eggs for our bechamel sauce? Yes, we... Wait, no. Okay. Let me know. I didn't think so. All right. All right. Can I turn down the meat? Yeah. We don't want it to... We don't want it to overboil. I think we should turn it off. Yeah, I think so, too. It's, it's been reducing. This is good. It's not very saucy because you really don't need it very saucy because when it all starts cooking together, it'll get really runny if you have it too saucy. Yeah, and it's a saucy meat. It's a saucy not, meat. It's not a saucy meat. Sauce, not sauce. <laughs> you I know what I mean. Like <laughs> it's not a saucy meat. So um, you're supposed to add mm -hmm. um, the ricotta cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup. We're not really going to measure. Right. That looks about right. <laughs> there you go. There we go. And um, some fresh, gar oh no, fresh garlics for the bechamel. Yeah. And an egg. And black pepper and fennel seeds. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't want fennel seeds. Please don't mix that fennel seeds in it. I'm tired of well, tasting it licorice and everything. You don't. I do. I taste it. Okay. My mom has a, something against fennel seeds. I don't like licorice. Okay, but it doesn't really taste licorice if you don't put a lot in. It tastes like licorice to me. All right. Uh, I, I'm losing, aren't I? Yes. Why? We're only putting like less than a quarter <gasps> teaspoon. It's almost gone. I got more. <laughs> Poo. So, not, not everybody has my mom's aversion. To, to licorice? To licorice oh, I bet or they do. to fennel. In the Pacific Northwest, fennel is used in a lot of dishes. A lot. Why? Because it's tasty. It's kind of oniony and sweet. I know I like it. Tastes like garlic. Okay. So next we're gonna make the bechamel sauce. And why do we, I don't understand that notice. We're already in Working Chef stream. Yeah, I have a timer set. But why do we want to have that? You want to have that, oh wait. It tells us we're in it. No, it's, 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 uh, no, mom. Okay. I have it highlighted to make sure if anybody says Working Chef or Working <laughs> or Chef or even Chief, yeah. <laughs> ah, other people agree with me. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> Mo Madiba says fennel seeds are awful. Ruins so much bread for me. Yeah. <laughs> Granite says mwahaha. Well, okay, fine. 
But if, if you don't add too much, I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, most of the things you make, even when you put fennel seeds in them, they taste pretty good. I don't know what that Trick was. Trick <laughs> Oh. He wanted to make the thing leap. Oh. <laughs> I see. Funny. All Very right, so funny. it's all mixed together and stuffs. Okay. Um, what would be really cool to do, uh, we need to add some black pepper. Where did that pepper go? There you are. I'm going to go around here and get, we should have had all our pans ready, but we didn't. This would be so an I'm excellent pan for the sauce. Yeah. You want to rinse it out a little, a little yeah. dust. Indeed. Hello, Maitre D. How excuse are you Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Mario. <laughs> okay. The Maitre D is like, where is that order? <laughs> okay, so we're going to use... I ordered some ricotta on the floor. Where's the recipe yes, for the did. vegetable sauce? It, you didn't print it out. I did. did. I didn't grab it. Oh. Ugh. I'm sweating. Good. <laughs> hey Hannah. Yes, work, working dog is working. Yeah, pickled fennel. Pickled fennel is pretty good. I actually like the acidity with the pickling and uh, and the flavors. As long as you do it yourself, or as long as it's not like prefabricated. Usually they put way too much salt in pickling stuff yeah. for uh, prefabricated stuff. Everybody puts way too much salt in everything. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, All right. This. Oh, look at this. So you know how to do the bechamel, right? You don't need directions, do you? No. Okay. Right. So, did you guys know that bechamel or bechamel or whatever you want to say is considered one of the oh, one of the five mother sauces? <laughs> so this says it is. It's a mother sauce. You guys want to know what the other mother sauces are? What are the other mother sauces, Chef? <laughs> there is uh, tomato sauce. Um, velouté, uh, bechamel, okay, we got bechamel, bechamel, velouté, uh, there is hollandaise, um, or maybe that's mayonnaise based. <laughs> Credit says careful where you go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's, um, also, uh, demi-gloss. Which is uh, reduced, like reduced, super reduced beef base or something like that. Is there? Yes. Well, you've made it before. Yeah, it was I've made really it hard. Yeah. It was really. It takes a lot of time. Really hard, and I do not understand the point. I <laughs> just don't get it. I will never be making that in my lifetime, and you probably won't ever make it again, unless mm -hmm. you're in a kitchen and they make you. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. All right. So. Rawr. Our ingredients call for two and a half cups of whole milk, a quarter stop, a quarter stick of unsalted butter, a third cup all-purpose flour, quarter onion uh, peeled, one whole clove. We don't have clove, so we're just gonna use uh, one allspice thing. Um, salt and white pepper, mm. and a little bit of nutmeg at the end. Now this is a more complicated bechamel sauce than it really needs to be, yeah. but I really love the flavor of the onion in the bechamel sauce. And why is that? Because you're going to caramelize it, right? Um, actually, technically what you do with a bechamel sauce is you just, oh, you just uh, kind of take the onion and drop it into the milk to heat the milk up separately and then you create the roux in another pan so it, it requires yeah it requires two pans what not in my kitchen <laughs> yeah less pans Defin are better definitely not in this kitchen so how are you gonna do it that way yeah you are yeah oh man oh 
Oh man. Ah. <laughs> Fine. Alright. Now, normally, uh, in a regular lasagna, if you didn't want to use bechamel sauce, that's fine. All you would do, you would stop here and take your meat sauce, your filling, and your noodles, and your cheese. you got to have your cheese. And uh, layer it. That's what you would, you, you would do. But we really like a lasagna with bechamel sauce in it. Um, it makes it really special. And then it has a white sauce and a red sauce. And it's just really super yummy. Right? Right. 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 I accidentally put too much in there. Do you like a real measuring cup? This is a measuring cup. Yeah, I know. This was a this liquid is, one. I, well, I know. Liquid measuring. Okay. For fluid ounces. Mm. It's a, it's for fluid ounces. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm a chef. You're right. I've been in the business 10 years. I know You're these right. things. You're right. <laughs> hey, Twinkie Von, du Von Dutch. Oh no! Did we did we knock the camera or something? What? What happened? He said, "Holy camera sway." You've never seen a milk jug like that? Yeah, this is uh, usually found at Costco. This particular size and oddness. Yeah, they they make them square. Yeah. Yeah. We don't but see them the too often either. And we got a two percent not whole milk. Yeah, we got two percent not whole milk. Make it. Smidgen healthier. <laughs> silly, silly oh, thought. Silly. Mario, don't leave. I need my maitre d'. Oh, Twinkie, hey. Look. It's -a me, Mario. It's Mario the maitre d'. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's slowly stopping? Are we dropping the camera right? has a bit of sway at the moment. What? Is that slang for something? Twinkie? No, I don't think so. No, uh, other people are saying that. What um, is sway? Clo M? Clom. Clom. Oh, Clom. Um, he was blue before he was white. <laughs> Apparently, one of the cameras was moving. Huh. Weird. That's weird. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't have any idea what that would be. Oh, it could be the table is moving. No. Maybe. I don't know. Let's not worry about it. If it happens again, let us know. Yeah. We'll try to figure out why. So if you go to the stove top. Uh, Kranitz wants to know if Alton Brown had an episode on the mother sauces and the chef who categorized them. Um, he did have a episode on the mother sauces. He probably mentioned Escoffier. Escoffier is like, I'm, I don't think he necessarily categorized those, but he did end up categorizing the chicken, the chicken, the kitchen. We're done with the onion? <laughs> yeah, we're done with that onion. So, don't okay. Do you need to shop it? No. What? It's, it's used as a flavoring agent. Oh. So we cut it in half and now it's in a quarter. Big. Oh, okay. I've never seen this one before. Okay. Yeah, like and I said, you have the garlic. Unnecessary, but really tasty. Okay, you have the garlic ready. Yep. And then you just need uh, a quarter cup of butter and uh, a qu it says a quarter stick of unsalted butter. We use a quarter cup, a quarter stick of uh, salted butter. So we don't put any salt in it then. Yeah. And um, a third cup of flour. Do you have measuring cups? They might be in the dishwasher. No, they're right here. Okay. Um, did I say? Okay. Here we go. You're getting an army of corgis tomorrow, Twinkie? What? Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, silly kitty, it's a ghost that's moving our camera. That's the only explanation. We got a poltergeist in here, guys. It's been said before that we did. Indeed it has. You girls have been telling me that for years. There is a poltergeist somewhere in here. <laughs> I actually heard it one night. I heard uh, something opening and closing the dryer door. That's the last time I heard it, though. That was years ago. Okay. 
All right, so I dropped a bay leaf into the, the milk that we're heating up um, for flavor and because I love it. And here's your quarter cup of butter. Ah! Yeah, I know. Be quiet. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, ever hmm? cut with your knife directly on to your countertop. It's a good way to ruin your knife. Whatever. I just, I didn't do it hard, okay? Not hard, not hard. Continue. Okay. <laughs> so while the um, milk is heating up, we're just going to melt our butter here. Melting of the butter. Butter melts. Kranitz, the milk is in the milk pan. <laughs> You're full for once, Kranitz? That's that's a good thing. It's pro it's probably a good idea before viewing my stream to to eat something. <laughs> so uh, beforehand. Silly Kitty says she has a ghost in her apartment. Yeah, the ghosts are everywhere. It's possible. I haven't seen our ghost or heard from it in a long time. Yeah, maybe it's gone now. I don't know. Do they leave? I don't know. I think they leave once whatever... Uh... It was you guys. <laughs> no. Ariel moved out and I haven't had a ghost since. Hmm. It could be Ariel. <laughs> It could have been. Come to the think of it. It might have been. Tyrell. <laughs> oh, yes, the golden child. Oh, stop. <laughs> She's the baby. You're both my babies. Aww. Aww. How disgusting. Aww. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so All what right. are we doing now? I'm just waiting for the butter to start melting. Uh, <sighs> we need to measure. Okay, you already got that. I got it. I you did got it. it. You got it. I'm and on then it. we got our garlic. Yeah. Wait, is it over here? No, it's over there. Thanks for the follow. Migsy. Migsy? Migsy. Migsy. Hi. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for the follow. Now, next time we stream, um, do you think we should do it uh, tomorrow no. or Saturday? I need some days off. Or Monday. <laughs> Monday sounds good. Okay. And I want to have things prepped all the way. Okay. So our next stream is going to be on Monday at uh, 1.30 p.m. Or maybe we should do it earlier, I don't know. I don't know. 1.30 seems to work out for a lot of people. Yeah. 1.30 p.m. We could try a later one. Maybe. <clears throat> Except Goobers is going to be back and... Oh, and he does streaming then? Yeah. Well, we can coordinate with him. He doesn't do it every day, you know. Yeah. Oh, Kranitz says three days without a stream? Yeah. Hey, you know what we'll do, Kranitz? I know what we'll do. I This is something I wanted to try anyway. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit down and talk uh, and video ourselves over one of our other streams that we've done that we wanted to replay, and we're going to do it at like 5 o'clock. Okay. We'll do that on uh, when? Saturday? Saturday? Or Friday. Friday? Tomorrow. We can do that tomorrow. Is tomorrow Friday? Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. So tomorrow, Friday, at like 5 o'clock, unless we're doing something else, I'm not sure yet, I don't think so, um, we usually do things if her, her sister's doing stuff. <laughs> she entertains us. She has all these parties at her house, and uh, she plays music places, and we go watch her play music. So anyway, but we were thinking, um, oh, New Age Film says, sounds exciting. That way, we can spend more time with people explaining what we're doing, and we can go through our video faster. Yeah. And you don't have to watch all the different steps. And so I'd really like to try that. So we're going to do that tomorrow at 5. If you have a specific video you'd like to, us to replay um, in general, then we'll uh, let us know. Yeah. Uh, we don't have voting set up. Uh, Donut's going to help us with that. I can do it myself. I look at the commands and everything, but 
I'd rather not. <laughs> or, I'm so busy trying or to do everything else. Maybe somebody puts up a straw poll. Uh, I think they can do that if I give them permission to do a link. Yeah, if, if anybody wants to do that right now and, and vote on what I you'd make, like to see us I do. I make believe tree. Uh, how do you I make, how do you make the platform of the lasagna? Are you talking about the base? Yeah. The yeah. base of lasagna, you put a little bit of sauce, preferably without meat, <laughs> Meh. Uh, on the bottom. And then you layer your lasagna noodles on top of that. Your butter be melted. It's melted. Here, you, you need my, uh, this whisk. Yeah, I need the special whisk. The special whisk. There you go. Specifically <laughs> used for uh, coated pans. You know, I know why the camera was swaying. Because I kept walking past it. Uh, and our floor is really bouncy. And I bet it just, you know, that one over there. Oh, yeah? Remember I was going around it, back and forth, back and forth? Oh, yeah. I bet that's why. <laughs> yeah. Our our floor is very bouncy. It's like that springs <clears throat> underneath it. Yeah. Feels like, anyway. Yeah. Well, I put this big tile on it, and it probably is a little heavy. <laughs> Uh, so oh well. if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. Oh. Um, you can also follow me at Working Chef Two on Twitter. Show show Krannis that whisk when you're done. If that is a yeah. Teflon safe whisk. I got it on Amazon. Again, we need to make a page with all our stuff, but we don't make much money doing that. Um, so I'm not that that's what's important, honestly, um, for selling those items. But uh, I just honestly haven't had time. I'm still trying to figure out how to make pictures and do everything on the the stream and work on the website and, and, and. Yeah. And we got um, an artist signed on for doing our graphics and, uh, and our and overlay, and overlay intro and outro, too. So it'll be a while. So it'll probably be a couple weeks before this stream is actually the way we want to look it to look. But uh, <laughs> meanwhile, Grant, you guys can hang on for the ride. <laughs> Credit suggests that we have Mario do it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think it would be very good. He's he's not that. Uh, am well, he's not that dexterous. <laughs> I was gonna say ambidextrous. You want to have Mario uh, doing this? No, I think he meant um, Show, showing the list. Doing the list, you know, oh. of all the places. But anyway, Cranitz, if you look on uh, look on Amazon for a uh, for whisk, like whisk for nonstick, non yeah, whisk for nonstick. Do that, and you should be able to find something like this. This is a really nice one. I love this. It comes apart completely, so you can wash it in the dishwasher and all that kind of stuff. So right here we have our roux. We're going to cook it for a good 10 minutes to get the, the flour out. We've probably already been cooking it for at least five. And yes, Kranitz, you can put it in the dishwasher. You just take it all apart. It comes apart in all kinds of little pieces. Yeah, um, so be careful of that, though. Yeah, yeah, do be <laughs> careful of that, because it really comes apart in little pieces. Oh, thanks, Make Believe Tree. Thanks so, for the follow, Make Believe Tree. So, Make Believe Tree, you wanted to know, um, someone not experienced with making Italian food, he's mostly an Asian food guy. Um, oh, that's cool. great. Asian food is amazingly wonderful. Um, I'm not very good at the Asian food, so I'd love to get some tips from you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Italian food is a lot of sauces and, um, um, I don't know, pasta. Sauces, pasta, vegetable, um, Although chicken marsala is soups. an Italian food. We should make chicken marsala one day. That We might make that for our week of, um, of meals. We could do chicken marsala and easy. chicken parmesan. Oh, for a week of meals? Chicken parmesan would be a little tough. I would not want to do that for a week of meals, mm -hmm. I don't think. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do a stream where we make an entire week's worth of meals in a couple of hours. Probably three hours. And um, so we're, right. we're trying to come up with 
things that you can make ahead of time. And chicken marsala would be one of them for sure. Um, I wouldn't put it in the sauce. I would make the chicken separate. And then, um, ah, oh dear. Well, I have, I have one that was clean. I think you want a clean one. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Strainer incident. You want the, you don't want the, you want this one, right? A little one? Jeff? Hey, McGeezel. Gizzle. You want a little one, right? No, this one's fine. I mean, that's what I mean. Like that? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you need now? Are you going to pour that directly in? No. Okay. Because that would be too dangerous. <clears throat> well, it would be. For me. Too difficult. For me. Too dangerous for me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Here, put that pan in here. All right. So we strained the, um, we strained the onion and the bay leaf and uh, the whole allspice that we put in there. Strain that out. Now we got ourselves some hot, wait, you can't see it. <laughs> That's okay. You can show them on the stove. Yeah, right now there. we got some uh, hot milk that we're going to put. I'm gonna whisk it in a little at a time so it doesn't get lumpy. Yeah. Well. 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 Just whisk it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put a little bit more in. Oh, I think that's now, good. Now they See? do say to uh, pour in um, like just warm milk or, or colder milk because that prevents lumps. Yeah, but I think it's working. But yeah, it, it's it's working. I just pour it all in now, chef. All right. <clears throat> you can see it's very lumpy right now. That probably was not the best move to do to pour oh, it all in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do I do that all the time and it works out. Sorry. Oh, my little maitre d's on the floor. For those that don't know, my maitre d is my corgi. He's a puppy. Adorable puppy. He doesn't actually wait on us or anything. No, well, actually, he does wait on us. He waits for us to drop things on the floor. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you want to consider that waiting on us, sure. <laughs> sure, then. He waits on us like that. All right, we're going to. Whoa! I should grease this pan, don't you think? Yes. Indeed. Hmm. Any just chance? cooking until it's it's thickened. Any chance you can hand me a paper towel? Sure. Or can you stop? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to grease this pan, this lasagna pan, while she's doing that, so that we're ready to go. Whisk it. Whisk it good. Indeed, silly kitty. Oh, you found the whisk we'll credits. Whisk it real good. Hey, Hannah, can you give credits uh, permission to put a link up? I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, she did already. You're so <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Whisk it. Whisk it real good. I'm going to use a little more. This was not very much. All right. You guys can see, I think. Maybe not. It came out great, right? Oh, yeah. See, the lumps it's came out. Not necessarily. There's okay, a little bit of lumpage. There's a little bit of lumpage. So we it, it would have been in our better interest to have, Do not, slower. To have done it slower. Okay. But it's done when it coats the back of the spoon. Thanks, New Age. He just mm -hmm. they just followed us on Twitter. Oh, uh, thank you, New Age. If you if you uh, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to keep updated about the stream and uh, my times and schedule. Eventually, we will have a schedule. <laughs> I promise. We're just still figuring things out. I don't particularly like meatballs of any kind. No. You? No. Uh, I like meatballs 
if they're fancy meatballs. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Like about boar? Them. Oh my gosh, boar. I love boar. Boar is so good. The special meal sauce does not have any kind of salt in it. It's kind of bland, <laughs> like really bland. You just got a face full of cream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Don't quote me on that one, guys. <laughs> ah! Mama Chef doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> so we added probably about a quarter teaspoon more of salt. And now we're going to find the nutmeg. Where are you? Nutmeg. Where'd you go, nutmeg? Oh. You sure it's not out already? It might already be out. There's some, a lot of ground cheese. Look on the counter in front of you. Okay. I left a bunch of stuff out. No. Okay, well. Oh, well. Move on. <laughs> All right. Oh, but it tastes so good with the nutmeg in it. Oh. Yeah, it's not in there. Oh, maybe it's up here. Whisk it. Whisk it real good. <laughs> Silly kitty, now we have that stuck in my head. I think um, we'll just sub some ground cloves for it. And not very much. You're boiling a little. Uh, yeah, you don't really want this sauce to boil. And now it's super thick. So, we don't really have enough meat sauce to put very much here. Should I just pour some um, yeah. tomato sauce? Yeah. Uh, or not, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take what our, le our leftover tomato sauce, because this is such a big pan. And I'm just going to pour this in here. Just so we have a bit of a base here. You don't need a lot of sauce in your lasagna, especially since we're using bechamel sauce and all that. Or are we done? Over yeah, we're there? done on the stove. Okay. We gotta clear this off and get our layering station ready to go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whisk it real good. Oh gosh, silly kitty. <laughs> what? She said whisk it, whisk it good, and made me think of uh, the song by uh, Salt and Pepper, Push It. Like, <gasps> push it. Oh, okay, so they say just spread a quarter cup of the meat sauce in the bottom, but that's, no. No. I put more, and all that does is it keeps the noodles from sticking to the bottom, but I did grease it as well, so really, it should be okay. That's the only reason we do that. Now we're going to put the noodles on, Jess. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Jess. Oh, okay. Um, are we going to watch you eat it later? Yes. The Maybe answer to that is, is yes. <laughs> <laughs> if we hurry up. Yeah, it only takes 30 minutes in the oven. Everything's all nice and hot and ready to go. The noodles are already cooked, so really we're just melting the cheese and combining all the flavors together. Oh no, the lid to the white pepper came off before. <laughs> oh, just oh, so you get... Oh no, no. I think that's Krannis, right? Yeah, <laughs> or it's Silly Kitty actually Oh, said Silly that. Kitty said that? Yeah. Krannis is saying that his lids come off. Oh, where did my white pepper... Oh, this isn't my house. I don't know, but can we hurry up? Yes. <laughs> all right. Pushing me. So now, we're going to, um, let's see, we're going to put the noodles in the bottom, then the filling, then one-fourth of the bechamel sauce, and uh, then the meat. So they're telling you one-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth. Yeah, thanks, silly kitty. <laughs> so one-fourth of each kind of sauce is going to go on there. Look at these noodles, how pretty those are. Oh. Yeah, they didn't stick. Whee! <laughs> All right. Cool. 
you should I put them on? What do you? Hold on. Okay. Please. We can just let bring me, the meat over. Let me do it. All right. Okay. I just was trying to say bowls. All <laughs> right. Story of my life. So can I put the noodles on? I'm doing that. Okay. Okay. Two. I think this is gonna take th four noodles. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, four. You might want to wipe some of the olive what? oil off uh, of it. Who has time? We do. We have time. <laughs> we have time? Yes. <laughs> oh, we do have time. Where is it? No. Darn it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, we do have time. <laughs> All right. I should make a graphic. I was thinking of that. Making a graphic of time. But how am I going to help and do things and make graphics happen. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, so you layer the meat sauce, you layer the noodle, and then what is next? The Oh, then you're going to put a quarter cup of this. Okay. Now, um, a really, because this is pretty thick, a quarter of it. it would be really cool to put it, all you do is you put it into a bag. I'm just going to show them something to save sure. time. You're going to pipe it on. And pipe it on. You just cut off the end and you just pipe it out. But we're not doing that? No. Too much trouble? Might be. Well, I don't know. It might be easier. We'll do it. <laughs> All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're putting it in there. I don't know. This is pretty fluffy. But all right. We'll do it your way. I think you're right, though. I think this will be a lot easier. Because I always hate this part, putting the filling on. Yeah, the filling is really hard because then it sticks to the noodle. Yeah. And it pulls the noodle up and it goes yeah. just everywhere. It's a mess. That's it's one, a That's mess. my most unfavorite part of making lasagna, actually. That's why I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. All right. Well, that and calories. <laughs> So you just kind of seal it, press the air out, and seal it on up, and then, uh, uh I had scissors, scissors right there. Oh, they're not in the scissor Look, thing. they're right there, oh. across. Reaching, ah, close up of my head. So okay. we're just gonna snip off the end. Come on, snip, snip, snip. Yeah, those, they don't, I didn't say they worked very well. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, we got our stuff. We're going to twist it like a real piping bag. We want to use about a quarter of what's in that bag. Oh, well, that's cool. I love it. And it doesn't need to be spread out, guys. It'll spread out on its own when it's being cooked. Yeah. When they say layers, it doesn't mean you have to have one thing on top of the other. Not really. Yeah. And then next we're going to... Well, if you want, you can... Spread it out a little. Spread it out a wee bit. Don't worry about it too much. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. And then we're going to put a quarter of the bechamel sauce on. Bechamel, bechamel, whatever. It's bechamel. 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 I don't know why I have an issue with that. Because that's how it's spelled. Yeah, but I... No, it's spelled like bechamel. But I used... I speak in French. Oh. <laughs> I speak in French. Um, where would be a ladle? There we are. Oh, and... Let's see. Oh, oh okay. What? Our maitre d' is waiting on us on the floor. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he is. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Just Q C. <laughs> thanks for the follow. Welcome to our kitchen. All right. All right, then. We're layering our lasagna. Many layers. Many, many layers. Deep layers. That, that's kind of getting weird, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. All right. Now we're going to put meat sauce. You put the meat sauce on top of that. You do? Mm hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. I read the directions. Plus, this is how you do it. You can do it however you want. Honestly, it's going to come out the same. In any in any form you want. This is just the easier way to do it, usually. 
You don't want too much meat on there because we, it won't go too far. You need about a, a fourth of what you have. Okay. Because you're going to do it four times apparently. This is going to be a big lasagna. Indeed. Usually I would make a lasagna in a hotel pan. Which is bigger or smaller? Bigger. Oh, even bigger. Yeah. It's <laughs> two inches. Um, it's two inches deep. And, uh, gosh, I forgot how long I'm it is. Big. I just know how, how deep it is. It's called a hotel pan for a reason. Yeah. Because so, it's mainly used in hotels. Do you remember when you got out of the Coast Guard and you came home and you wanted to cook for us all the time? She always, she would say, yeah, I need like four pounds of meat and I need this and I need that. And she would forget that she was cooking for four people, <laughs> not 40 people or a thousand or a hundred or whatever she was cooking for. And she would make huge amounts of food. <laughs> hey, they had plenty of leftovers. <laughs> a lot of leftovers. Okay, now we just sprinkle some mozzarella on it. All right. And we're supposed to use about, I guess, two cups of mozzarella all together. Eh, we're just going to do it. We have, as you can see, we have a huge bag of huge, mozzarella. Huge bag. Five pounds. We're not going to use all five pounds because no. that would be ridiculous. Indeed. So we're sprinkling on enough to just cover it. Yeah. Just lightly cover it, really. Because the cheese is going to spread, too. And don't forget to get those edges. A lot, Oftentimes people yeah. forget to spread it out to the edges. I don't want to forget the edges. So we're going to... They'll be upset. If they get left out. Because mm. lasagna has feelings. N no. <laughs> that I would think be, lasagna. That would be weird. Oh, thanks, Ball Shrimzer. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to our kitchen. You ready? Ready. We are over 300 followers today, Jessica. Oh my gosh! 300 followers! What? I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah. We're way over now. Yeah, thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Okay, okay so the next one is going to be more of that. All right. We're just going to do the same layer that we did underneath. Do we have enough for four layers of noodles? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't end it with noodles. You end it with um, oh, yeah. sauce, sauce or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, do it again. All right. We're going to pipe in our, our cheese filling, ricotta cheese. Pipe in the cheese. That was such a good idea. I love that. Pipe in the cheese. And did you guys see how fast and easy that was to put that in a Ziploc bag and cut off the edge and voila, you have a piping bag. Yeah. Love it. It's really funny because um, in the culinary field, a lot of people don't think about using um, Ziploc. Ziploc bags or plastic bags as uh, a piping alternative and they don't usually think about this because they aren't bakers. <laughs> oh. Bakers would probably think of this first. Hmm, probably, huh? Well, they probably they have lots of piping bags all over the place. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then it was the bechamel. bechamel yes. Then meat sauce. Thin cheese. Yes. Look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally put a wee bit too, just a smidgen bit too much <laughs> oil of uh, oil on the Thanks. noodles. Yeah. And you don't have to put oil on them. What you could do is rinse them in cold water, and then um, then they suggest stacking them with parchment paper in between oh. the layers. But that takes up. It parchment takes about paper costs parchment money. paper is not cheap, no. But if you get it at Costco, it's not too expensive. I've had this part parchment paper roll for years. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's not too bad. Okay. All right. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow. I'll love you forever. You can also follow me at on Twitter at Working Chef Two to keep updated on our uh, on our channel. I'm sure we'll be posting some art within the next couple of weeks that we're going to be using for the stream. Tara Nell would like more cheese. More cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Alright. No, I, I love cheese too, but 
Ricotta is a cheese too. Yeah, don't forget, our ricotta is a cheese. And then we have the white sauce stuff, and there's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. Are we running out? Yeah, mm -hmm. I went a little bit too. Yeah, you don't need quite so much meat. Yeah. There we go. Here, I'll just pick some out. All right. <laughs> don't be afraid to use your hands if you're cooking for yourself or for others. Even just if make sure they're enough. washed. Yeah, if you're cooking, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got it. All right. Okay, next cheese. Cheese. Queso. Where's our queso? I don't Over know. Here. I'm not in charge of that. Queso mozzarella. Um, if anybody doesn't know, queso is cheese in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many of them did not know that. <laughs> not? I don't think we have enough room for four layers in this. Well, I don't think we're going to make it there. So we're yeah. going to end with mozzarella cheese on top. And you want the top layer of noodles evenly covered with sauce. So I think we're going to do one more layer and then we're going to cover everything with our sauce evenly because okay. you want it really, the last layer is really important to have it really well covered so that it doesn't get dry on the edges. There you go. You don't want dry noodles. More cheese. There you go. <laughs> Lots of cheese. How's that? Okay. This is going to be so bad for us. <laughs> oh. Yeah, ricotta is really good in lasagna. Some people use um, not ricotta. Not ricotta. <laughs> and not a good idea. I'm usually not a purist when it comes to substitutions and things, but for this, yes. For this ricotta, ricotta, ricotta. <laughs> it's really the only thing. Yeah, um, Silly Kitty uh, has said that her husband substi substituted cream cheese for ricotta. <laughs> Kids loved it. <laughs> really? Did she say the kids? Yeah, she said it? the kids loved it. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, kids. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Not subbing in cream cheese. Who's that? That's silly kitty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All Go. right. Fight and me. now I'm gonna tuck in the edges here because you don't want your edges sticking up because they will get dry. It'll be really hard to cover those, so go. Okay, so <laughs> is this the last we're going to use the ricotta? That is it. Use okay. it all. I'm going to evenly put it on. Oh, I missed a spot, but oh well. And then I'm going to go back over and put in any excess that we have. Oh. Ah, Mario, you're going to kill me. Mario, Mario, the the Mario getting in the way is what it is. That's that's the song we should be singing. Oh Mario no! Trying to trip Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Arc Runner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're almost done, you guys. This wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now, normally this would probably only take about 30 minutes to... Mm, no. I'm thinking 45 minutes if you're doing this all by yourself. It yeah. takes a while. It is a time-consuming task making lasagna. Especially if you're cooking all the noodles and yeah. making all the sauce and all that stuff yourself. With, uh, with most Italian dishes, it's actually a pretty good idea to get the whole family involved. It'll uh, oh. help save you time. That's true. Oh, that olive oil, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even wiped it off. Did you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Next time we're using parchment paper like they like the recipe suggested. Yeah. <laughs> it's a better way. <laughs> the, it, the reason it's so shiny, guys, is because of the olive oil. Thanks for the follow. Taranel. Taranel. Thank you. All Welcome right. to our kitchen. You can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef Two. Hey, maybe we'll reach like 350 today. Woo. Followers, that'd be nice. I have no idea what we're up to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we just we just hit three uh, 300. Um, I think last night. Oh. Oh really? Can we finish this? Uh, the Maitre D is here. The Maitre D is here. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the attentions. 
Oh, it's Soggy Doggy. Hey, Soggy Doggy. You're just in time, Soggy Doggy. You're just doggy. in time to see the maitre d'. <laughs> Who really wants that lasagna? Yeah, look at him. He's just looking at the food. <laughs> what? What? I just want food. Don't hold him over it. I'm not. I don't want fur in my food. <laughs> so adorable. Ugh. He is pretty darn cute. And he hasn't been eating Ziggy today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he it usually could. chews on our, my dog's neck because she's <laughs> so little and cute and she can't bite back. But we got her a spiky collar last night and I think it's been very effective. Well, also, the outfit that Mario is wearing, oh. which is a, a maitre d' outfit, um, it kind of acts as a thunder shirt. Well, also, yeah, he's afraid to move in it. Yeah. <laughs> but he just feels more proper. Oh, I think he feels more Maybe proper. Maybe that's it. Oh shoot, I forgot about my coffee again. Oh, my coffee's gonna be so cold now. Oh. oh. Are we gonna use uh, the whole rest of the sauce too, or no? Yeah. Okay. Use it all. Is there a whole lot? Yeah, there's enough. Oh no, I would just use it all. Okay. It's not that much. Yep. Okay. drinking my lukewarm well, thanks coffee. for all the follows guys I really appreciate it and all the support twitch community is really great <laughs> soggy doggies having a meatball sub from subway nice <laughs> staying with the Italian theme indeed Italian it is said someone there very funny okay and then we gotta make garlic bread. Oh yes. And we're done. Yep. So usually we don't like make a complete meal. So but somebody requested that we do garlic bread and we thought, oh yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Nom nom nom. <laughs> nom 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 on the garlic bread front. Gotta have garlic bread with your lasagna. Be sure to push it to the edge, guys, because you don't wanna make your edges feel left out. I've always hated getting an end piece and then there being no sauce in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, Maitre D. And let me tell you guys, cooking wine with with the beef, like the red wine with the beef, tomato sauce, it's many many feet. All right. It's really good. I just love that smell. <laughs> oh hey, I'll quinella it. <laughs> that's not really quinella. That's not quinella. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. I just thought I'd say it. <laughs> You're silly. I know. <laughs> I saw two spoons that I'd help move it around here yeah it's kind of hard to you could use your fingers but this is easier actually yeah and that way you don't have to get your fingers dirty and wash your hands again again I've washed my hands like 10 times already so yeah and I just washed them with soap so now I really don't want to have to wash them <laughs> if I don't always wash them with soap while I'm cooking something if I stopped and went somewhere else and came back, then yes, I would. But you know, unless I had raw meat on my hands, then I use soap. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Or if I lick my fingers, <laughs> then I'll use soap. So this is our last player, right? <sighs> yeah. I know I've asked this like five times. Yeah, that's it. It's just the fact that we have a whole layer of noodles left over. No, yeah, that's good. Better, better some left over than not enough. Yeah. Always. Even if you have to throw your noodles away and not use them, better to have too many. I have made many lasagnas where I ran out. <laughs> and that is just not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not raw meat, saggy doggy. 
It's uh, ground beef that has been cooked. Oh, that's terrible, Taranel. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, her, his aunt would not eat if they had spaghetti with bread. So it's like, well, why didn't she just eat the spaghetti then? <laughs> Apparently she was concerned for everyone else. I agree with her to a degree. Nowadays, my husband and I, if we have a, a pasta, we do not have bread with it. But since this is for, we're making this for all you guys, and uh, somebody asked us to make garlic bread, and also we really like it. <laughs> I, th I think it was Kranitz, right? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. Kranitz, was it you that wanted us to make garlic bread? Or maybe it was French guy. Oh, okay. that's a really good idea, silly kitty. Perfect. She said with the extra noodles, just roll them up with cheese on the inside, cover them in pasta sauce, and bake them. Oh, so yeah. So it's melty. That's perfect. That That's a great idea. Excellent idea. Ooh, we could use that. Well, could we use it for our make-ahead meals for a week? Uh, probably uh, not. Well, this would give you meals <laughs> for a week. You know, that, that you're eating the same thing every day then. Yes. Yeah. Am I putting this in the oven? Yeah. Okay, we're putting our lasagna in the oven. Oh, um, let me use the rest of this just because. Okay, first we're putting this on top. We're putting some Parmigiano Reggiano on top. Because we need more cheese. Yes. <laughs> the answer to that question is yes. Mm. It's not even a question, but it's no. yes. Yes, 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 yes. A freaking amount. How much did we use? <gasps> did we use like two pounds? No. Pound and a half of cheese? Use like half of that. Oh no, so, that would be two and a half pounds. There's no way. Well, can you open the oven for me, it please? It probably sank a bit. Yeah. Oh. Put it in that middle one right there. Oh, I like that. Okay, turn on the um, timer. timer. All right, in 30 minutes, we should have a delicious lasagna. Meanwhile, we are going to make our garlic bread. Garlic, garlic, garlic bread. You can use that cookie sheet that the lasagna's on. Just put the lasagna away. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh. All right. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. And you can also follow me at Working Chef Two uh, on Twitter, and I also happen to have a Discord, which is a lot like Teamspeak or uh, Skype, except I think it's it's better. You can drop in and out whenever you want, and I will put up the link for that because I don't think my mods are here anymore. Diaz is or there we go. And I will be posting the final pictures of the food there. Um, as well as the recipes, I suppose. I suppose I could do that too. That'd probably be uh, best so you guys can find it again. Yeah, it's like if TeamSpeak and Skype had a baby. Exactly, silly kitty. Oh yeah, there's Hannah. She's just lurking. Got a lurking mod. Sorry if that was loud, guys. I'm gonna take the noodles and put them into a plastic baggie. I'm gonna clean off my oily, oily sheet pan of doom. Oily sheet pan of doom. Oh, so much oil. Guys, don't use oil. <laughs> Just, just do what my mom said and uh, rinse it with some cold water and place parchment paper in between. What would work even better though is wax paper. The wax paper and parchment paper are not the same thing. Yeah, Skype is so 
I downloaded Skype recently because I'm going to be, uh, oh, this Sunday, guys, I'm going to be interviewed on a, a podcast, uh, Nelstar15, his, he has a podcast that he does on Sundays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll be talking about stuff like what got me into the into uh, streaming and cooking and just basically talking about me. <laughs> and uh, probably talking about Nailstar too. And but we are gonna be using Skype to do it. And Discord, I think. I, I am unsure of how that's working, but I I don't know anything about the podcast, but Nailstar does. <laughs> Yeah, I do not have a link for it. Um, I'll I'll post it on Twitter once I once I get that all figured out and stuff. All right, so we're just gonna set Mario, please move. Set that off to the side right there. Oh, thanks, Soggy Doggy. Yeah, Skype was good before Microsoft bought it. Like. When I first tried to um, log into Skype after Microsoft had bought it, it made it seem like I had to pay to use it, so I just never used it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be posting the link in Twitter um, once once I find, find out what the link is and how the podcast works. Because <laughs> I, I know streaming kind of but podcasts I know nothing about <laughs> yeah Nelstar 15 Hannah can you put up a, a caster command for Nelstar 15 please he's a pretty awesome dude oh and um, Skype also logs you bags down your compute bogs down your computer somehow and I don't know how every time I've downloaded it I've recently downloaded it my computer just starts freaking out <laughs> so yeah discord is better <laughs> I'm gonna wash this dish right here because it has too much oil on it oil we do not need So I haven't told you yet this yet, Mom, but I'm going to be on Nelstar 15's. Uh, thanks, Hannah, for putting that up. Uh, podcast on Sunday. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be talking about like what got me into the business and stuff about me. Just basically an interview. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now, how how many people listen to the podcast? I mean, do we I know? don't. I don't know. And how do you listen to a podcast? I don't know. So I actually need to talk to him more about that. I actually have listened to podcasts. I just don't remember yeah. anymore. Do you have a bowl right here? It's so we're going to make well. the compound butter for our uh, whatever it's garlic called. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. And what's a compound butter? Compound butter is just butter with herbs and spices in it and garlic. It's best to use uh, room temperature stuff. Oh, ours is room temperature, all right. All four pounds of it. I haven't put it away. It's salted butter. It's okay to leave salted butter out. Nah, I leave any butter out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart. Drop a follow. I'll love you forever. You can find me on Twitter. That just popped up, I think. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Hannah. Okay. Okay, so... How would you like me to prepare this pan? Would you like me to put some tinfoil in it? Yeah, you can put some tinfoil on it. <laughs> she says begrudgingly. Or, or would you like me to use a silk hat? 
Still pat better. Oh, um, this one got crumbs on it. Okay. Oh, no. So this is a Silpat, guys. It's a French baking sheet. This is not actually the brand name Silpat. This is something else. MIU or something. Yeah. Bought it on Amazon. <laughs> oh no, I may have gotten these at Costco. Anyway, you just put these in your pan. Um, they fit perfectly in a half sheet pan. And um, they keep your pan from scorching and they get everything really brown uh, that goes on it. So there you go. So there you go. Yes, well, uh, and then you know there's no washing of your pan it's really great and you just rinse these off pretty much right. you can scrub them a little bit if necessary harder like with a brush or something I don't know which one's harder I think this one's harder oh I think this one is you think so? uh-huh this one's really? probably the hardest here about this one I have so many specialists better. Yeah. Yeah. So many spatulas to choose from. What can I say? I'm a spatula hoarder. <laughs> well, you know what happened is somebody, all of a sudden all my spatulas were gone after you moved out. <laughs> well, that's because they were my spatulas. No, they weren't all your spatulas. But anyway, all of a sudden they were all gone and so I had to buy more. So they came and set some of them and then I just got carried away and kept buying them. <laughs> I, I don't know what the ISP thing is. Is that a, a joke, Granites? I don't get it. <laughs> it stands for something. My insignificant something person. <laughs> My important something person. Uh, in stream podcast. <laughs> <laughs> My in stream person? <laughs> oh, internet. Oh, ISP. Oh. Internet service provider. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> we knew that. So yeah. We just thought it was a different context. So yeah. Yeah, we weren't thinking that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> so you can uh, do this in a. They're probably trying to upsell the Kranitz. Oh, in a blender? Blender. You can use my hand mixer. You can use a hand mixer too, but it's really not that necessary to get all those blades uh, dirty. dirty, especially yeah, if your butter is already at room temperature. Now, if it was refrigerated, I would definitely recommend doing that. Well, I would just put it in a microwave mm. and soften it like mm. a 20%. Mm. I do. Mm. Sometimes it, it gets a little melty. Yeah, a little melty is an understatement. <laughs> All right. But that's what I do. So we're going to add some black pepper. And Worse. we're going to add... <gasps> My fave! Johnny's garlic spread. <laughs> it's got Parmesan cheese in it, uh, Italian seasonings, and... And Johnny's, do you know garlic. that is from our Johnny's here in Seattle? Is it local? Yeah. Oh. From Johnny's Restaurant. I had no Johnny's idea. Johnny's Bach, I believe. So Chef I'll blended it. since 1956. Uh, Tacoma, Washington. Oh, wow. So it's local. Yep. Calm down. And you can buy it at Sam's Club and Costco. They My maitre d' is getting a little excited. Oh, Corky. Mario. Mario. Sorry, guys, if that blasted your ears. Mario. He is a corgi, and corgis are known to bark. Oh, I think he wants out. Oh. Out hours. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he does. Okay. Oh, yeah, he sorry. comes out over here and barks to, to go out. He's such a good boy. I think he hasn't moved since he's been here. He's still in the chair. Oh, you go out. You worry about you, Mario. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Stacy. And hi. I don't know if you've been in here a long time, but uh, hi now. <laughs> I'm going to add more. I'm going to add more because you want your butter to be pretty concentrated with uh, seasonings. I personally like to use 
fresh herbs. But not everybody has the money for that, so it is more than okay to use dried herbs. <laughs> Sometimes Mario just barks to. And he's barking at the dog's big store. Yeah, barks to go outside to bark more. <laughs> Mario, come on. Come on. Come on. Been doing chores, uh, Stacy? That's always fun. <laughs> Mario. She says sarcastically. All right, and this right here is uh, your compound butter. It's just butter that's been mixed with herbs and spices. Now normally I would like to use uh, fresh garlic, but we don't have any already chopped fresh garlic and I'm feeling chopped out, chopped out today. <laughs> I will, however, use the rest of that. Boop. And that is Parmigiano Reggiano, all up in our dish. No, Mario. So we got about 16 Mario. more minutes on our lasagna. That is good. Mario, leave it. I'm going to bring out the cutting board again and use a bread knife to slice our bread in half. Oh, this old chef needs to sit down. <laughs> this old chef's been going since early today. Oh. All right. Where is that bread? There you are. Now, this bread will probably feed about 20 people. What? Not in this house. Uh, in a normal <laughs> situation. <laughs> where people don't eat lots of bread? Where people don't eat lots of bread. You could probably... Well, hold on. Let me just see. One, two, three. Four, five. No! You probably oh. get about ten slices out of here, and giving two to each person, you'd probably be able to feed at least ten people. Hey, Stacy. Pretty Stace big. Stacy, you play in a band? Yeah, he's uh, in a heavy metal band. Oh, nice! Or hard rock, I'm unsure. I think Which it's heavy it? metal. I'm pretty sure it's heavy metal. Well, we'll see in a minute. Yeah. I'm in a band. Oh yeah, my mom's in a band too. It's a little local band. Yeah. Of moms. It's a band of moms. A band of moms. <laughs> They're very cute moms. All right. Now the only reason I cut this in half is because I didn't want to run the risk of uh, cutting my arm off because it was too long to fit on the cutting board. Now I did oh, that. Right. Oh, that wasn't Jeez. very good. <laughs> Chef fail. That's all right. It's okay. We'll, we'll just we'll go higher on this one. Go higher, yeah. But what about cutting it? I would cut it sideways. That's how I do it. I know it's not the chefy way, but then I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but that was excellent. That one there we was go. darn perfect. Nice. Pretty good. But we're gonna use it all, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cook it all. We're, we're gonna have garlic bread. In a normal household, we we would have garlic bread for days, but probably not in here. <laughs> I think most normal people would eat a whole loaf of bread for a family. It's a very large loaf. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So we're just gonna take our butter and we're gonna spread it on top. Oh yes. Oh, it's a metal band. Oh, okay, cool. And yes, I do sing, Stacy. Um, I don't sing amazingly, but I sing okay. I can sing in tune. <laughs> <laughs> but my voice doesn't work as well as it used to. It used to work a lot better. But then I had to have uh, surgery on my neck, and they went through, they had to move my vocal cords over, and so it's never been the same. That's gross. Oh, sorry. Don't want to gross anybody out on stream. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry guys. I was just explaining. Well, yeah. Just a quick explanation. I was done. Some <laughs> people get like super woozy at the slightest mention of stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Uh, my catering partner is one of those people. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 
It's it's kind of fun. <laughs> Ariel's one of those people. Oh Your yeah. Sister. Ariel yeah. freaks out if I touch uh touch my scar on my neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Can you add meat to the garlic bread? Hmm. No. No. Oh, you could, I suppose. I wouldn't. That is not something I would do, Kranitz. Oh, Stacy, you can't sing in any tune, huh? You could if you tried, if you kept trying. Anybody can sing and, and sing in tune if they work at it hard enough. Not everybody can sing in tune right away, but truly, anybody can. They just have to work at it. Your dad right. is one of those. We got more butter. Yeah, my dad's a kind of a has kind of a blues voice. But he never sang in his life correctly. He always was out of tune his entire life, and then he worked at it and worked at it, and he started singing in tune most of the time. <laughs> it's not always, but well, most of the time. Unless he's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, I think most of us think we're awesome rock stars when we we've been drinking. No, that that is so <laughs> so true. I hate playing with a drunk band. There's nothing worse, nothing worse for me because you've worked so hard to play correctly, then you get up there and everybody just thinks they're playing everything right and they think they're so hot and good and nobody's playing anything correct except you because <laughs> you're the only non-drunk person and uh, yeah, it's, it's a hot mess. And then when you're done, they all go, oh, that was really good, right? And you go, no, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how my mom knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Stacy, you shouldn't give up. Just don't sing with the band. Sing on your own until you think you, it sounds right. Or until somebody tells you it does. Yeah. <laughs> you need to check with somebody or record yourself. That's what a lot of people do. Yeah. They record themselves. I mean, I mean you have to really know. want it, though. Even, even if you record yourself and you're singing or talking, it just sounds so weird. Um, it doesn't sound like you. Well, like you Like how know. you think you sound. It doesn't. I hate hearing myself on a recording. But um, even on this, I hate hearing myself. But um, I think uh, Stacy was a radio broadcaster at one point. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm saying... So he's had that a lot. <laughs> yeah, good for you, Stacy. That's excellent. Yeah, you shouldn't drink at shows. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really disser huge disservice to the audience, I think. Yeah. All right, so we got about nine minutes on our uh, lasagna left. We probably only want to put these in at six minutes. Um, we'll need to let our, our lasagna rest before we cut into it, of course. Um, so we'll be putting this in soon. Oh, ah! Mm -hmm. In about uh, More food on that side of the three minutes. Three minutes, we're going to throw this into the oven, and everything should come out on time. And it should be great. Yay, great. I'm so tired now. <laughs> Spent the morning cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> oh. oh, also, um, I almost forgot. Stacy is uh, um, a Twitch caster. Now, granted, he does do pretty raunchy, raunchy shows, so be prepared for for swearing and raunchy stuff. But he's pretty entertaining. <laughs> So Hannah, if you could throw up the caster command for uh, Stacy Cruiser, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so when do we put this in? About uh, three more minutes. If anybody has... Uh, I think it'll take longer than Yeah, he minutes. did work in radio. Yeah. You want to just put it in now? No. Okay. Do you think it's going to take five minutes only? Six. Okay. Well, we'll put it in at seven minutes. <laughs> You're so precise. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, of course I'm precise. Okay. Can you make the screen big? Oh, right. Okay. Changing screens. Hold on. Here we go. Ah! Wait. Oh, here, let me get rid of that. We do not need ingredients anymore. 
There we go. Look at my maitre d'. His name is Mario, and he is our maitre d' of the channel. He will be your, your kind and gentle <laughs> server. Stacy says, I still remember the time you turned on the show in front of your family during Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. When was that? <laughs> when we were all at your house? Uh, no, that was, um, I was at uh, my parent-in-law's. <gasps> yeah. Just recently? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And the first thing that, that came out was uh, a bunch of swear words. Oh, my God. What did they do? <laughs> they just looked at me like, and I was like, um... It's a video. <laughs> mute, 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 mute. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, what is that? Boo Boo 27300. That looks like a different language. Maybe French? It looks French. Yeah, it looks French. I don't, I'm not torturing the corgi. Uh -huh. <laughs> the corgi actually really enjoys it because I give him like, 10 treats at once, once he's uh, in the outfit. So he's mm -hmm. associating outfit with treats. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> he even went outside in his outfit. Although, I don't like the way the tails come off his back. They yeah. split apart and they, they hang down. They split apart too much. Oh, can I put this in now? Yeah. Oh, we forgot about it. No. Uh, yes, we did. You forgot, I about, forgot it. about it. Oh my. <laughs> I think our lasagna might be done actually, but we'll let it go a couple more minutes. Yeah. Oh, it looks beautiful and bubbly. Okay, I'm going to sit down over here now. Oh. Wine? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need a glass? Back no. Nah, just drink straight from the bottle. <laughs> hey, hey Stacy, it was not your fault that I did that. Yeah, I was getting really bored with the family conversations, conversations, and uh, and and the constant pestering of when are you gonna have a baby, and stuff like oh, that. Oh, serious? Yeah. Oh. The first thing the grandma uh, grandma does is when I get there, she looks at my stomach and she sighs. No. Because there isn't a baby in it. No. Yeah. That's the first. That's how she greets you. That's how she greeted me. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I hate it. Ken's mom used to do that to me. Not quite like that, but since I was 23 years old, as soon as my, on my 23rd birthday, she goes, I was having a baby when I was 23. And yeah, yeah. Up until she finally gave up and then I had you at 30. <laughs> <laughs> then she didn't care anymore. <laughs> uh, hitting the sauce there, Julia Child? Indeed. Just a, a smidgen, a smidgen bit. This I is don't a, love that one. Yeah, it's not great. It's pro it's been open for longer than two days. Well, so wine deteriorates after uh, being exposed to air after two days. It starts to turn. Oh. So hand her Mario. Who? Uh, I think I think they they want you to have Mario. For some or reason, Kranitz does. I don't know. I don't oh, know. cause you handed me the wine. Oh. Now you have to hand me Mario. I don't know. I don't know. He's pretty I'm wiggly. Take a nap. We got about three minutes and twenty-five seconds left in our dish, and then right. our maitre d, Mario, will be uh, taking your your drink order. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. And he will serve you your food. Oh, your mother-in-law. Hand your mother-in-law the corgi. Oh. For your baby. Yeah. Good <laughs> one, Granites. You always you always are the witty one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. True. You should just bring a wallet of uh, pictures of, the, of corgi and say, Oh, look, here's our baby. Yeah. And as soon as you walk in the door, just... Regale them with pictures of Mario, <laughs> and so she can't even say anything. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't have to say anything, though. She does it with her eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a, that's a pretty interesting skill to have, too. <laughs> it's a mother skill. 
I can do a lot of things What's with my wrong? eyes as well, I think. Can't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's it's, wrong with you? It's what happens when you're a mom. He's crying. I don't know why he's crying. He's not crying right now. He was whimpering earlier. Oh. He wants attention. Oh. Also, he hasn't played with Ziggy at all. Yeah. Because he's afraid of the collar. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. They usually play, though, at least. Yeah. But hopefully he'll get over it. Oh, thanks for the follow. What is that? Zombie fighter something. Z zombie fighter something? <laughs> uh, feel free to to type um, and let me see your name in chat or or don't. That's cool, too. We love our lurkers. <laughs> and hi, Tang Girly. Hello, nice Tang Girly. Nice to see you today. I have my maitre d' with me today, Mario. We're just waiting for our stuff to be cooked, and we only have a couple more minutes left. We are waiting for one and a half minutes. We can start our countdown timer. Yeah, one minute, Ten. 15 seconds. No, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just annoying. <laughs> Oh, nine and three quarters. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, more wine. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, I don't love that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't love it, but you can drink it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good sipping wine. No, <laughs> it's not good, but it's got a lot of... Woo! vinegar e taste yeah it'll probably that won't be give you a headache that. let's 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 cork this cork that cooking you know, wine go from out. now on <laughs> yeah well that's what it has been yeah mostly how old is it oh i don't know old hi tank girly i don't know if i said hello but hello and welcome to our kitchen We are going to be streaming next. <gasps> Woo! Come here. Come here, Mario. Come here. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. And it'll be a quick stream, maybe about an hour. We're going to try something different. Yeah, we're going to try something a little different. Um, it'll probably only be an hour. So 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, UTC 8. And then our next... Uh, and they'll get our undivided attention. Yes, and our next stream after that is going to be on Monday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we'll be doing uh, meals to prep for a week. May I just say, that was not long enough. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Thanks for the follow, Dimitri. I told you. Sorry. Just, just let, just let the, we need to let the lasagna rest to properly pull it out. But it's not resting. Okay. I'm still cooking. You're still cooking the lasagna too? No. Well, yeah, I was going to take it out. But you said no. No, I'm, I'm. Mm. Oh, you want me to take the lasagna out. Take the lasagna out and leave <coughs> the bread in. <laughs> please. Just a minute. I was just saying please. Oh, man. What am I doing wrong? Mario, no. Oh, this doesn't do, uh, okay. I was trying to do two and a half minutes and I kept putting in two and a half hours. Uh, oh, okay, Demi Lord. Demi Lord 93. I completely got your name wrong. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart and drop a follow. I'll oh. love you forever. Here is our lasagna. Look at that there. Oh, wow, that's greasy. That looks <laughs> <laughs> And that's entirely my fault. Entirely. <laughs> yes. Well, it's going to be some gr greasy anyway because of all the cheese in it. But somebody coated the noodles with olive oil. Oh. What? Yeah. What? Who did that? Anyone. <laughs> so, should I change the view? Yeah. Okay, we're going to give you the big close-up view. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Wrong stove. one. Sorry. That's a dirty stove. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Lasagne! Do do do! So I moved the camera too far that way. Yeah. Oh, so there we go. Thanks, Dino Genus. So now you, now you do not want to. What are we making tomorrow? We're not sure yet, Tank Early. It's going to be something we've already made. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
and we're gonna make it really fast and it's gonna be fun and let's um i think we should do the the chicken jet dish that, that uh didn't end up getting recorded correctly the first one that we did um it was vegetables like roasted root vegetables and and beets with uh, a chicken okay we'll see if we can yeah that okay. would be really easy to do well we're gonna make something easy and healthy and stuff like that probably yeah but we don't give any guarantees at this moment we'll probably do a full a full plate meal so that means a uh, starch a vegetable and an entree uh, do we have that? Yes. Okay. We have all of those. <laughs> all right. Still not done. Do you think this is done? Well, we can show them and then we'll finish it. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Well, Here's our garlic bread, but it needs to be cooked a little longer. But I just wanted you guys to see so that you don't have to wait around any longer. No, it's okay. We got people coming in. Hello, Naughty933. And, um, hi, <laughs> uh -oh. Oriel Vertigo. <laughs> All right, so this is Hello, our garlic Oriel bread, Vertigo. but we're going to put it back in a little longer because, as you can see, it's just very, it's not, just a little brown on the edges. Yeah. Too soft on the inside. Too soft. Oh, Mario's playing with her now. Oh, good. Yeah. Mario. Not like that. <laughs> Is he trying to bite her neck again? He's trying to bite her face. Oh, Lord. You have streams... You leave streams on 24-7, uh, Kranitz? Who's... What? <laughs> he says he watches a lot of streams at once. I used to do that. I used to watch, like, three or four streams. I... Yeah. I need my cord back so I can do that again. I don't want you to do that. You have other things to do. <laughs> <laughs> you, need to, you need to work on this one. All right. Okay. So. Mm, move this to show the layers. Oh, I just drank the rest of your coffee. It had sugar in it. Yeah, it did. Why did you drink the rest of my coffee? I don't know. Because I thought it was mine. I got can, well, we'll make more. And a sad panda. We can make more. <laughs> so You have 15 monitors in that room? What? Hey. How can you possibly? You said, you said 16, but oh, 15 plus. You, you can't, you can't watch all that at the same time. It's physically and humanly impossible. And then who do you listen to? <laughs> Which one do you actually listen to the sound from? what you guys are all saying that's pretty funny are you a secret agent in charge of surveillance yeah he's in charge of uh, twitch surveillance <laughs> <laughs> making sure all the twitch shows are twitchy yeah they're <laughs> twitchy all right indeed they are <laughs> definitely twitchy twitchy twitch 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 so if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that heart, drop a follow, I'll love you forever. You can also follow me on Twitter, at WorkingChef2. And I also have a Discord. Bip. Chef, how long do you let the lasagna sit before you break it open? Ten minutes. That's all? Yeah. Oh. Um, for the sake of the stream, ten minutes, but in all actuality probably about 15. Oh, longer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want your strong? Yeah, I, I want I want some strong coffee. <laughs> it wasn't sure if you pushed the strong button or not. I did. Oh, wow. We got 27 viewers again. Our viewer count is Yay. up. Yay. Yay. Thank you guys all for, for watching and enjoying the stream or lurking and stuff. <laughs> Doing all those things. Doing all those things. I really appreciate it. Oh, you, you try. Yeah. I got this. One more minute. 
Oh, I would do two. If you're gonna do one, do two. Now we're doing a little bit. All right. I don't want it too crunchy. Uh, is he like not letting her down the stairs? Is that I, what he's doing? I think that's what he's doing. He's establishing his his uh, corgi dominance, his major d dominance, and he's like, "You are not welcome in this club," <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, we, you, we have two you dogs come down here. here. If you come down here, you will play with me. <laughs> He's just moping and sighing. <laughs> he, is, he really wants her to play. <laughs> Ziggy says, I don't have to. I have a spiky curler out collar on and you cannot bite my neck. Uh -huh. Yeah, my my corgi is really bitey. And we, he chews on her. we really need to take him to... Uh, Obedience, obedience school and again. a better obedience school than we did initially. We just went for cheap as opposed to quality. Well, I think it was a matter of how long you guys worked with him too. You said that you didn't work with him too much, right? Oh, that was that was uh, the husband's fault because uh -huh. okay. I had to train two people. people. <laughs> I had to train the dog as well as the husband oh, to train the perfect. dog. Oh, this perfect. There we go. That's what it should look like. You see the little brown on, browning on top? It's really delicious. There we go. Oh, Daddy Chef is going to be very excited. Indeed. <laughs> when he gets home and sees this. <laughs> of course, it's, it goes against what he's really supposed to eat, but... <laughs> oh, well. All right. All right, I'm going to wash this spatula off. I think it would be the best for taking out the... Okay, we're going to take out a piece of the um, lasagna, guys, to show you what it looks like. Be careful this hot. Okay. I know. Let me move it. Uh, it's okay though, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd like night. to cut it. Mm, you cut don't, what? You do not want to cut on your silk hat. <gasps> no. Or you on will your ruin yourself pan. a silk hat forever. Or on your baking pan. Or on your baking pan. It's not a good idea. So... Hold on. Or just, you do that. Okay. I got this. All right. I'm going to kind of <clears throat> take it down on the sides <laughs> a little bit. Mario, every time Ziggy moves, Mario chases her. <laughs> now she's up the stairs even further. Poor little thing. Ow. Yeah, we learned that my uh, dog is a one dog house person. Dog. Well, that's not why he's chasing her. He just wants to play. Yes, I know, but Corgi's kind of playing is not most other dogs kind of playing. No, no. All right, I think I will use oh, the knife. I don't think it's falling apart. Here, you want a pop over? <laughs> I like how your mouth moves when you cut. <laughs> yeah, I stick my uh, tongue in my cheek, cheek and... Go just like, <laughs> cheese, yum, cheese, yum. Cheese, glorious cheese. All the cheese. You want a smaller knife? Yeah. yeah. This is probably sharper. That is the most I've ever seen anybody have to cut a lasagna. <laughs> it's really a lot of cheese in there. Yeah. It's usually not this much work. <sighs> Okay. Moment of truth, guys. We had the cheese, so. Shoot, I need the pot holder. I know. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> uh. mm. Mm. You might need a few people for this job. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is some cheesy lasagna. Yeah, you really can't see the sides. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see if we can... Oh, thanks for the follow, touchy maniac. Wait, let's... Welcome oh. to our kitchen. No. No. You should really let it rest longer. Yeah. You can even let it, you can let a lasagna sit there for like 20 minutes, but you can't see it layering too much. But really, you don't always see a, a whole bunch of layers in the lasagna. Um, once you start cutting into and it. Plus you can a, see it in here. That's an end piece. Yeah, you can see it in there. Yeah. Let's try for a more middle piece. Really? Yeah. I don't want it to get cold. We're going to eat it. Oh, I can't eat it right now. You can't? I don't think so. Thanks, 
Thanks for the follow. JWB Hunter. JWB Hunter, welcome to our kitchen. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time it got there, it would be icky. <laughs> yeah, probably. It would probably have to come in frozen form, too. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Okay, so now you're going to try the middle one? I have to get to the middle one first. Oh, man. Can you touch that pan? It's all right. Oh, shoot. Oh. Darn it. See, now you're just messing it all up. No. uh huh uh huh uh huh Here, why don't we just do this? Here, wait. Here, why, why don't you try it? No, I'm not going to try it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this glop over. Wait. Well, you really can't. See, the lasagna noodles kind of fall over. See, yeah. That, that's what happened. So, so you get the idea, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really, you should let it your lasagna rest a lot longer. It's really lovely. It has lots of cheese. It's not all soupy. You notice that? No soup. I hate it when there's soup in your lasagna. It's not good. Yeah. I think you should try a bite and tell us how it is. Okay. Fork. Fork. Fork it, Jess. Okay. Golf screen name. Hey. A. As uh, S oh, burgers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're blocking them. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was unsure at first as if he was a troll or not. <laughs> okay. All right. Fork. Wait. We need a... Uh, we got to have this. Oh. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I'll eat that part. Yeah, you can have that part. I'm going to use the... Bread knife. Yeah, bread you're knife. squishing our bread. Go? I don't know. Where did I put it? I'm not in charge of the bread knife. Oh, no. Guys, I lost the bread knife. She lost the bread knife. I, I would I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Oh, here we are. Found it. Found it. You really need a bread knife to cut bread. Otherwise, it squishes. Show them the difference. That's the edge that she cut with a knife. And then this is the edge with the bread knife. Mm hmm You see that? Knife. Bread, bread knife. Bread knife. <laughs> so it's squishy on one side and not on the other. And really when you're using a bread knife, you want to let the bread knife itself do the work. So you just lightly lay it on top of, of the bread and just go back and forth and let the, the bread knife cut your bread so you don't squish it. Mm -hmm. Alright, maybe we can get a better picture later, but... <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like it. So it looks like lasagna. Lasagna with garlic bread. Yeah, yum, take a bite. Yum. I'll do the big screen. Oh, do the big screen. Yeah. Okay, now she's going to try some, and then we'll be signing off so we can clean up this mess. <laughs> and um, I will be back. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do a really quick plated dish, a starch, a vegetable, and a chicken at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, UTC 8. Hopefully mm. Mama Chef can figure that one out. <laughs> I think I can. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That wine. Really that wine is just so good. And the meat. And the That's bechamel. Awesome. Oh my gosh. It's so good, guys. Is it better than the frozen stuff you buy? Oh yeah. <laughs> By far. Oh mm. good. Here, let me have a bite. Oh, you got one Oh, there. I'll have a bite of mine. Excuse me. <laughs> Apparently we're not sharing. You got one fork though. I did. Yeah, I was trying to make that coffee. 
<laughs> so we can have coffee with a little lasagna. Coffee and lasagna. Nom nom nom. You could also have red wine with lasagna if you want. Oh man. Or even white, as long as it's not a sweet white. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. No. Ow. You can have your frozen lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. And it doesn't have to be as hard as what we did. As I said, you can make a much simpler bechamel sauce as well. Yeah. Uh, th in th fact, that's in the, rest the recipe we posted. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, compliment. Um, compliments, New Age Films and ST1SS. <laughs> oh, Kalam, are you sick? No, Han Hannah is. No, oh. Kalam is? Oh, no, Hannah is. Hannah is. Oh, Hannah, what's wrong? Oh. Am I supposed to ask that? <laughs> no. Alright. Mm. I don't know. Yes. Definitely saute your meat with like a red meat with a red wine or um, a white meat which would be like pork or chicken or and maybe even uh, fish depends on what kind of white fish wine. you got uh, with a white wine is really the best thing to do oh you have a cold Hannah oh bummer. I'm sorry I hate colds I've been lucky enough knock on everything well, Hannah has young children. To, to not, oh, that's right. To when not have, have a cold. When you guys were young, I was sick all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally had to have sinus surgery. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did we cause that? Yeah, it was your fault. <laughs> no. Aww. No, I had sinus problems when I moved up here, for, uh, even when I was mm. in California. And then I moved up here, and it got much worse. And then... Um, and then, then I was always sick when you guys were, were kids. And I'd go to the doctor, and he'd, the, the ear, nose, and throat guy, and he would, he would say I had a sinus infection. And I said, I always have a sinus infection, right? And he goes, oh, yeah, you always have one. It's just a matter of how bad it is. Hi, golf screen name. So, I'm not sure if I said hi to you yet today. We did. We did? Okay, well, mm -hmm. hi again. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say hi too many times. So. Mm, cannot say hi too many yeah. times. So... We'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, UTC with 8. a little different. With something a little different and probably quicker. So it will be faster. It will be faster. We're going to try to cut the time down to probably... About an hour. About an hour. It will more than likely, though, be probably an hour and a half, what with interaction and stuff like that. But they'll have our undi undivided attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we can really chat with everybody that way. Yeah. Mhm. 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 It's good, guys. <laughs> so you guys can also follow me on Twitter at Working Chef Two. Hello, Alexander. Hello. <laughs> So I was thinking, mm. if I wanted to stream playing a game, like, could I stream playing, like, Soda Crush? I'm really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody to help, I want people to help me with moves that I might be missing, no? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about streaming, but not things like Soda Crush. <laughs> I am like way up there. I finished Candy Crush. You finished Candy Crush? Uh huh. Wow. Thank you. I didn't think it was possible to finish that game. Well, it was for a while. I think they probably have added on more stuff to it now since I got there. But um, yeah. So I haven't played Candy Crush in forever. Plus, they made it so ridiculously hard. What they do is they make the levels um, harder and harder by by making it. You have to double tap, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> I'm good at double tapping, tapping zombies, you know. <laughs> Me and Ariel won that game with the zombies. Double tapping. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear these words come out from my mom. Because double tapping is like one to the chest and one to the head, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I was really good. I was the zombie killer when we played that game, me and Ariel. 
Was it Left 4 Dead? And she'd yell, yeah, she'd yell, Double Tap Mom, Double Tap! <laughs> <laughs> and we won it. Yeah, that wasn't too long ago. But yeah, so in Candy Crush, what you have to do is quadruple tap. <laughs> As time goes on. And Soda Crush and all those kind of silly games. And I have, a, I have a ways of getting new lives, too, without having to pay for them or anything. Ooh. I have um, cheats. <laughs> <laughs> They're totally legal, but I don't want to tell everybody about them because I don't want them, the game makers, to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> if they can. I don't know if they can. Well, they probably see you do it. They don't know. They don't, like, watch me. You it's not know. like that. You never know. They might. What? I need the loan for my bill. Oh no, is that your sister? <laughs> Messaging. Oh. What? Yep, Mama Chef is an OG. What's that? Original gangster. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. better, better be careful, she'll double tap you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mm. So good, guys. Oh my gosh. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, my Major D is a little a little tired. Come here, Major D. We're gonna say goodbye. So, guys, for those of you that don't know, this is my Major D. His name is Mario. He is a corgi, and uh, he is more interested in the floor than the camera. Of course. <laughs> Push your coffee. Thank you. Nom nom nom. And now he's really interested in in the lasagna. <coughs> See, you're gonna be serving this to the customers later, Mario. <laughs> he's just like hell I am. I'm gonna be <laughs> eating that. Yeah, Mario's about uh, 30 pounds, so he's actually a heavier corgi than normal. But it's not because of fatness. It's no. because of muscle. This he's guy is guy. like pure muscle. <laughs> He's a big guy. Oh, he's a uh, weird one. So. Ew. I see that. <laughs> 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 Naughty says yes, Soda Crush. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo! I'll try to figure it out. Because I play on my iPad, so I don't think I can stream from that. And I don't know if you can play Soda Crush and stuff on your, you might on your Macbook. You capture card. I'm not getting a capture card so that I can stream Soda Crush. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Coffee mm -hmm. with fluffy cream in it is the way to go, guys. Mm -hmm. There's one of my mom's uh, gadgets again. <laughs> oh, so good. Mm. We here in Seattle love our coffee. We should have gadget day. A gadget day? Mm hmm Where we show off all my gadgets and some of yours. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> it does not sound right. But you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now, and then people can see whether it's something they would like to have or not in the future. Yeah. Because some gadgets are not worth having. Some are. Yeah, like uh, that, that weird can opening gadget <laughs> that you have. It works. <laughs> Sometimes. They opened two cans today. It did. Right off the bat. It did. Usually that doesn't happen. <laughs> Well, it does lately. Hey, Coleman. Underscore. All right. <laughs> well. Yeah, we made lasagna today, guys. Um, so we're going to be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, UTC 8. And we're going to be doing uh, something different. Something different, a full dish. That means a uh, starch, a vegetable, and a meat. Our meat's more than likely going to be chicken. And the rest is a surprise. Yes, and the rest is a surprise. <laughs> and um, might be to us too. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll be sure to uh, 
we will be sure to bring back our, the Sorry. matron. Can you turn that down? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll be sure to bring back our maitre d' tomorrow as well. And uh, he will just love it. <laughs> I have I have greasy hands from all the olive oil. I tried washing it off. <laughs> Hi, magicals. <laughs> magicals spelled with an H. Well, bye, guys. Hold on. I'm, I'm saying goodbye. Oh. I'm going in the other room. It was nice hanging out. Working Chef will... Uh, <laughs> Tag out when she's done here. <laughs> Log out, whatever. But do it soon because I need my computer. <laughs> so I can figure out tomorrow's stream. Thanks, Christian. So um, I'm going to still be here for a few seconds. Um, to remind you guys that I have a Twitter. Hannah, could you put up the Twitter command, please? At Working Chef 2, where you can follow me, um, as well as a uh, Discord. Um, and if Hannah could put up that too, that would be awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clum. What? I'm talking to Clum. Oh. <laughs> not, not mom. mom. Not mom. Clum. <laughs> Clum. <laughs> <Clum. laughs> <laughs> All right, thank, thanks, Clum. I really appreciate it. So you can follow me there. And, um, oh my, it's 425. I thought we'd be done sooner. So we're going to sign off. Remember, tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, UTC 8. We will welcome you back into our kitchen. And uh, I hope you have have had a good time and we really appreciate each and every one of you thank you bye